Good morning, good morning, beautiful people of God. This morning devotion is entitled Truly Humble, Truly Great by Wynn Collar. Christ Jesus made himself nothing, Philippians 2, verse 7. As the American Revolution concluded with England's improbable surrender, many politicians and military leaders maneuvered to make General George Washington a new monarch. The world watched, wondering if Washington would stick to his ideals of freedom and liberty when absolute power was within his grasp. England's King George III saw another reality, however. He was convinced that if Washington resisted the power pool and returned to his Virginia form, he would be the greatest man in the world. The king knew that the greatness evidenced in resisting the allure to power is a sign of true nobility and significance. Paul knew this same truth and encouraged us to follow Christ's humble way. Even though Jesus was in very nature God, he did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Instead, he surrendered his power, became a servant, and humbled himself by becoming obedient to death. The one who had all power surrendered every bit of it for the sake of love. And yet, in the ultimate reversal, God exalted Christ from a criminal's cross to the highest place. Jesus, who could demand our praise or force us to be obedient, laid down his power in a breathtaking act that won our worship and devotion. Through absolute humility, Jesus demonstrated true greatness, turning the world upside down. How does the depth of Jesus' humanity surprise you? How does his humility force you to reconsider your definition of greatness? Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, that you, in your most humbling way, demonstrate for us your true power and your greatness. Lord, we love you and we thank you. Amen. Once again, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel and please, please, uh, pass this devotion along to five people and encourage them to subscribe as well. God bless you and you have a great day.